on their side. to keep the championship of the ACC and Jim Valvano's cardiac kids won the West in dramatic fashion. Trying to pull another one out. Derek Wittenberg. This is outside. Thurl Bailey rebound. Bailey again. Out call. NC State lead. Seven seconds on the clock. Jim Hull. This is the shot. The rebound. Wilson inside. Loose ball. It's over. The keys to this game are varied and many. And let's go to the two men who are going to call the action. Gary Bender and Billy Packer. Gary. Thank you, Brett. North Carolina State. Jim Valvano said, I believe in dreams. He feels they're a team of destiny. They've won nine in a row. The last NCAA championship year, 1974. Two principal players in this game, Derek Wittenberg and Thurl Bailey. Derek Wittenberg had a brilliant game the first time out, 20 points. Now Derek on the offensive end of the court, Gary, probably has a bigger arsenal that he can beat you with than anybody in college ball. He's got the 30-foot jumper as well as the power game inside. And for a man his size, he can go inside. Speaking of size, Thurl Bailey at 6'11". He's got to combat that front line of Houston. Well, Thurl can do it on the defensive end and on the boards. And one big advantage he has playing against a team like Houston, he can go outside and make the perimeter shot. We heard the coaches talk about tempo. Obviously, North Carolina State cannot get in a run and dunk contest. Well, they really can, and, and Jim Valvano said his fraternity is Kai slow the ball on. <laughs> I don't know if that'll be the case tonight. I don't think we'll see an all-out all out delay game, Gary, but I do think that they will play a slow tempo ball game. Houston's won 26 in a row. They're number one. They have never won an NCAA championship. Let's look first at Clyde the Glide Drexler. 21 points and seven rebounds in the semifinal. Well, Gary, we made the comment in the great game that was played up in Syracuse this year that this is probably college basketball's finest all-around athlete, and I think he's proved that in the NCAA playoff. And then there's seven-foot Akeem Abdul Elijahwan. He had eight blocks in the semifinal game. And what's so incredible about him is his timing has improved, as you see right there. If you get by young Drexler and Mishaw, there is Elijahwan waiting there, and he has great shot-blocking ability. And so now the stage being set. Let's go back to Brent Musburger. All right, Gary and Billy, and again, Jim Valvano on the right. He has a team in the final four for the first time. Guy Lewis of Houston on the left. This is his fourth trip. He has never won the championship. We are ready for basketball's greatest spectacle. 